Grade 3 math number 79. Compare fractions with the same denominators. Here we have a fraction, and here we have a fraction, and they have the same denominator. They have a 4 for the denominator. This one's numerator is 1, and this one's numerator is 2. This is 1 fourth, this is 2 fourths. Which one has more area colored in? This one does, the 2 fourths. It's got two parts colored in, and that one's only got one part colored in. So, to compare them, we need to use the big mouth to big number, less than, greater than, or equal to. Remember, the way you can remember less than is that it looks like an L. See? L for l less. This is greater than, and this one is equal to. All right? Big mouth eats the big number. Okay? So, we would say that one-fourth is less than two-fourths. The big mouth is going towards the big number. Look at this one. We have three-six and we have five-six. And which one's greater? Which one covers more space of blue? The five-six. Big mouth eats big number. Look at the three-six. You know what? It's half, isn't it? Three-sixths is equal to a half. That's an equivalent fraction. Okay, let's look at this number line. Try to get the glow from my light not to bother you. There's zero, and here's eight-eighths, because that's one whole. When the numerator and the denominator are the same, that means it's one whole. We have one-eighth, two-eighth, three-eighth, four-eighth, five-eighth, six-eighth, seven-eighth, eight-eighth. This would be nine-eighths, ten-eighths, eleven-eighths, See? Which would be like 1 and 3 eighths is 11 eighths. See that? How it keeps going on the number line? Okay. Here's 3 eighths and here's 5 eighths. Which one went farther? Which one's bigger? The blue one or the red one? The 3 eighths or the 5 eighths? The 5 eighths is bigger. Big mouth eats big number. Let's look at this. 3 thirds or 1 third? Three-thirds is equal to the whole thing, see? And one-third is just one little part of the three. Three-thirds is much bigger than one-third. Which one's bigger, nine-eighths or seven-eighths? Well, let's look at our number line. Remember, nine-eighths or seven-eighths. Here's seven-eighths right here. Where would nine-eighths be? Eight-eighths, nine-eighths. This would be nine-eighths. Which one went farther, the seven-eighths or the nine-eighths? The nine-eighths did. And the nine is bigger than the seven. Because when their denominators are the same, you can just say the nine is bigger than the seven and do it that route, see? When the denominators are different, oh, we have more work to do and it's completely different than this. We'll show you in the videos coming up what happens when the denominators are different. Okay? So 9 ace is bigger than 7 ace. 1 6 or 5 6? Which one's bigger? Which one's bigger, 1 or 5? The 5 is. 1 6 is less than 5 6. That's how you would read that. 4 ace or 3 ace? Which one is more, 4 or 3? The 4 is bigger. 4 eighths is greater than 3 eighths. Look, 4 eighths is here, 3 eighths is here, so 4 eighths is farther on the number line. See? 2 thirds or 2 thirds? Well, that's kind of silly. 2 thirds and 2 thirds are equal, aren't they? Yeah, they're the same. How about 0 eighths or 2 eighths? Where would 0 eighths be? If this is one eighth, zero eighth would be at the zero mark. So zero eighths is here and two eighths is here. The two eighths is farther, isn't it? So two eighths is bigger. So when you compare fractions and the denominators are the same, you can just go by the, the numerator number on top to see which one's bigger. And remember, 
Big mouth eats big number, and the symbol that looks like an L is the one that is the less than symbol. Okay, see you next video.